Hey guys, welcome to another add-on demonstration for Anki. In this video we will be covering the advanced preview add-on which extends the card preview window in the browser with a number of new features, the most important of which the ability to preview multiple cards at once and the new feature just introduced, the ability to actually review cards right from within the card previewer. Now I know that I've already released a video on this add-on a few months ago but there have been quite a few new features and updates since then, so I thought it would be best to just give you a new overview of what the add-on is actually capable of now. Okay, so the main idea between behind Advanced Preview really was to make it simpler to get a quick overview of all of your cards in the browser. Now, by default, if you use the card preview window in Anki, you can only look at one card um, at a time and only scroll through each and every question side a question and answer set of each card at a time. This can be quite cumbersome if you have to click twice for each card just to scroll through each and every one of them. It just doesn't, it takes quite a lot of time to just get through all of your cards. So that's where the advanced preview add-on comes in. It allows you to highlight multiple cards at once and preview them all at once within the window right here. And this is also interactive, so if you click on any of these cards, then that specific card will be highlighted in the browser, and vice versa. If you click a row in the browser, then that card will also appear in the card preview window. Another feature which is introduced by this add-on is the ability to show the answer side of your cards by default. So if we go back to looking at a single card, we can now use the toggle down here, which says both sides, to just show the answer side directly. And this applies to all of the cards you will be seeing from that point on. So if we go on and click on the next button, we'll see that we're always presented with the answer side um, available right away. And this also works for previewing multiple cards. Again, this is a great way to get a quick overview of all of the, um, of the contents of your cards. Uh, for instance, if you have to um, update a lot of cards, then this is a great way to just um, get an overview of your entire deck. And it's also a great way um, to just uh, study cards outside of the scheduling. If you just like to go through the cards, for instance, in preparation of an exam, just want to review and read up on the information you have added to Anki, then using this add-on you can just do this very quickly and just read through all of your cards as though you had them in front of you on your desk. Okay, so that's the functionality that Advanced Preview has had for a few months now. Now, as far as the new features are concerned, uh, these can be activated through a new new options menu, which you can find under Tools, Advanced Previewer Options. And the highlight here, really, of the um, latest update is the ability to actually review cards right from within the browser. To activate this, you just have to enable this option. There are a number of other configuration options below it, which make it easy for you to customize your experience when reviewing cards, but for now, we'll just stay with the defaults. And we'll also activate the second option, which will allow us to study cards ahead of schedule. I'll go into this into more detail in a moment. Okay, so now that we've activated this option, what exactly changes? Well, if you go um, to a card now and preview it, you'll see that you're now presented with some answering options in the bottom left corner. These options correspond to the ones you would find when reviewing the cards regularly. And it's uh, very simple to use, it's the same way as when reviewing cards, you just have to click on these options and one of these options and the card will be rescheduled accordingly. And this will count as a regular review, not as a custom study review, but just as a regular review. So if we click on this again, we'll see that the card will now graduate to a review card. And uh, yeah, as you move along through your deck, in the browser you can just rate each and every one of these cards just like you would when um, doing this normally in the uh, actual reviewer window. The buttons also support hotkeys so you can also um, use them with the hotkeys 1, 2, 3, 4 for convenience sake. Okay and one special thing though about this feature is that you can also review cards ahead of their schedule as I, I mentioned before. And this works somewhat similar to how Anki um, reviews cards when you use the custom study option to study ahead. But it's not the same exact formula, not the same exact algorithm behind it. For instance, when you're reviewing cards ahead of the schedule in Anki, you can only choose between the again option and the good option. Now with this add-on, you can actually choose between all of the four options you're also presented with when reviewing your cards regularly. 
So for that reason, there is a somewhat different algorithm or somewhat different formula in scheduling these intervals behind these buttons. And um, this is elaborated on more uh, explicitly in the add-on description. So if you're interested in knowing how this works, uh, just give this a quick read through. But just the, as far as the gist of it is concerned, when reviewing cards ahead, the add-on uh, looks at how much time has actually passed since the last review date and uses that actually elapsed time to reschedule to schedule the next interval for um, the next review. And as closer you get to the actually scheduled due date, the closer then the intervals will actually be to the ones you would be presented with if you were to review the card on that specific day. Okay, so that's as far as the um, reviewing feature is concerned. Now, um, the add-on was commissioned by a fellow Anki user, and this feature specifically, the ability to review cards, was also commissioned by a different user. And um, just to give you an example of the use case that you could find for this uh, feature, um, the idea really, his idea really behind the feature was to grant you the ability to mark cards which you might have spent a lot of time with when editing in the browser as um, as actually having been reviewed. And um, the idea really here is that if you spend long enough time um, editing a card, like this one for instance, if you read through the available information, update it accordingly, then that alone can also can already um, serve as a reinforcement for your memory. So if the card is due in uh, maybe a week or something, then it might make sense to not wait until that due date, but just um, reschedule it, or rather review it ahead of schedule on uh, the, on on uh, a few uh, one week before it, it's actually due because you've just seen it because you've just uh, processed that information and that alone can also can already count as somewhat of a review. So that's the first idea behind uh, having this feature in the card browser. The second idea is that you can you can sort the browser by any column you like, right? You can sort it by the sort field by the day the cards were created, and um, with the advanced preview. Um, reviewing option, you can now actually just go through your card reviews in that specific order. So this add-on allows you to review the cards in any order you like, as long as you can, as long as that order follows, uh, as long as that order can be defined through um, the browser columns. Uh, this is especially powerful if you use the advanced browser plugin by Hussein Salim, because this add-on allows you to add a number of new columns to the browser which aren't available by default. So, uh, for instance, we could add the um, average time for our card reviews here, and also the uh, total time. And as soon as we do that, we can then go ahead and just order our cards by that criterion, and then also um, review them in that order by using these buttons in the preview window. And this, there is, uh, there are pretty much no bounds to this. Uh, so, so it's just uh, you can use this for whatever you like. For instance, you could just um, add a sorting field to all of your notes, a custom sorting field where you would use some kind of numbering scheme that like, for instance, a.2.3 to signify different chapters and different subsections where you might have drawn that information from. And then you can just add, could just add that field to your notes, uh, to the uh, browser, and then sort the browser by that field. And as soon as you've done that, you can then use Advanced Preview to actually review the cards in that specific order, or maybe learn the cards for the first time in that specific order. So once again, with Advanced Preview, you can just use any order you'd like to actually go through your notes and review them in the card browser. Okay, I think that's as far as the uh, main features of this add-on are concerned. Um, just a quick side note at the end of this video. Uh, this add-on and also the features I've said before were part of a commission. I designed these on a commission. Um, if you guys have any specific ideas about an add-on you'd like to see um, developed or a specific feature you'd like to see implemented in an existing add-on, um, I'm always happy for commissions. So uh, just feel free to send me a message below in the um, either via the um, email address below in the description or through a direct message on Twitter. And I'll see what I can do. I'll see if we can come up with a good implementation or a good solution for that specific feature. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I'll see you soon in one of the next add-on videos. Until then, I wish you good luck with your studies and goodbye.